Uh, we uh, now we derive the equation of tangent plane uh, of our of our surface. What is the tangent plane of our surface at some point? Uh, the definition of tangent plane that is a plane. A plane contains all tangent vectors of a curve on a surface passing through a point. Contains all tangent vectors uh, or tangent line, tangent lines of curves. This curve should be on the space uh, on this uh, on the surface on the surface which pass passes through this point is a uh, tangent plane uh, at one point. This point it should be on this surface. Now we derive the equations of uh, equation of tangent plane. This is surface. This is P naught. Suppose this is a vec. Uh, this is a, sur uh, a curve on the plane, uh, on the surface. We suppose the surface is right as an uh, implicit function that is f x y z equals some constant, and and uh, R T be any uh, curve on the surface on S and passing P naught. Uh, this is P naught. P naught we write as X naught, Y naught, and Z naught. Uh, we find the equation of the tangent plane. So first, from from the from the equation of the surface, be, because the curve is the curve is uh, depends on t. So we take the uh, derivative for the curve. So the R t actually is satisfy this equation. Uh, R t. If we write R T as F T and G T and uh, K T, then the R T satisfies this equation F F T because the R T is on the surface G T and uh, K T equals some constant because not not because the this function depends on t, we can take the derivative take derivative in terms of t both sides then we get that is fx actually Actually, is f x y z equals constant. Then we uh, we view x y z as a function of t. So we take the derivative of both sides. Then we got f x times d x over t over d t and f y d y over d t and f z 
and dz dt equal zero and dx dt that is f prime t plus f y and that is g prime t and uh, plus f z to capture f z times k prime t equal zero and we can write this equation as gradient f dot r prime t equal zero that means that means for the, the gradient of f is always perpendicular to the r t prime because the r t is any curve passing through this point so the r prime t is for that is for any tangent vector at this point is perpendicular to the gradient this means that the gradient f at this point at this point is perpendicular to the tangent plane this means the gradient of f is perpendicular to tangent plane so we got the equation of tangent plane for surface f x y z at p naught x naught y naught z naught is f x and x naught y naught z naught times x minus x naught plus f y x naught y naught z naught and y minus y naught plus f z x naught y naught z naught times z minus z naught equals zero this is a tangent plane no this is equal c this is the tangent plane for for the surface if the equation of the surface is given by the implicit function f x y z equals c and law is normal line It's normal line. The normal line is perpendicular to the tangent plane. The, the, and we know that the normal the normal vector is f x f y and f z. So the normal line, the direction of the normal line is f x f y and f z. So we write the normal line as a symmetric equation that is x minus x naught at f x x naught y naught z naught equals y minus y naught that f y x naught y naught z naught equals z minus z naught that is f z x naught y naught z naught is the this is the normal line And if the surface is right as an explicit function, that is, the surface, if the surface S is right as Z equals f x y, a small f x y, then the tangent plane, the tangent plane is f x x naught y naught times x minus x naught plus f y that at x naught and y naught 
equals c minus c naught because this this surface can be write as uh, f x f x y minus c equals zero. So the f x y z that is that is f x y minus z. So f x is the small f x, f y is the small f y, and f z is negative one. Uh, f z is negative one, so that is f x times x minus x naught, f y x naught y naught out oh, there should, times y minus y naught minus z minus z naught equals zero. Then we uh, move the z minus z naught to the to the right hand side is like this, and its normal line is x minus x naught over f x x naught y naught equals y minus y naught over f y and x naught y naught and uh, equals z minus z naught as negative one that's the uh, equation of tangent plane and the normal line let's uh, look for some examples if s is x square plus y square plus c minus 9 equals 0 and p naught is 1 2 4 find tangent plane of s at p naught this is right as implicit implicit function so uh, we can uh, find the gradient of the capital f fx is 2x and fy is 2y and fz equals 1 so gradient f at 1 2 4 that is 2 4 1 so the tangent plane at p naught is 2x minus 1 plus 4 y minus 2 and uh, plus z minus 4 equals 0 that's the tangent plane for implicit different uh, implicit function and the second the second uh, example is the f s the surface is the equation of the surface is uh, right as c equals 2x square plus y square and the p naught is 1 1 3 find the tangent plane of s a tangent plane and the normal line of s at p naught uh, this function and uh, this surface is right is right as x explicit function so we find that the small capital fx that is 4x small capital y that is 2y so the the normal vector normal vector the normal vector is actually is fx 
f y and negative one. At this point, at one one three, that is four two negative one. So the tangent line at the tangent plane. The tangent plane is four x minus one plus two y minus one and minus z minus three equals zero. Or write as four x minus one plus two y minus one equals z minus three. That's tangent plane. The normal line we write as symmetric equation that is x minus 1 over 4 equals y minus 1 over 2 equals z minus 3 over negative 1. That's the second example. As the, the, the equation of surface is right as explicit uh, equation, explicit function. And we look at the last uh, example. If z equals log x squared plus y squared, and uh, the p naught is 1, 0, 0. So the tangent plane we write as first we find the fx and fy. fx is x squared plus y squared, that's 2x, 2x over x squared plus y squared. And for fy is 2y over x squared plus y squared. And the normal vector is fx, fy, and negative 1 fx at this point 1 0 0 now the fx is 2 fy is 0 fz is uh, z the coordinate of z is negative 1 so the tangent plane The tangent plane is 2x minus 1 equals, equal, uh, we can write as uh, minus c minus 0 because z is passing through 0 minus 0 equals 0. That is z equals 2x minus 2. This is a plane that is, that is parallel, parallel to y-axis because the coordinate have, have zero as uh, the, cor the coordinate of y, y coordinate is zero. So we, the longer line, the longer line, we can, uh, is, uh, uh, it's not good to write the normal line as symmetric equation. We use the parametric equation. That is uh, x equals 1, maybe 2t plus 1. y equals 0 because y is passing, the y coordinate for this point is 0. And z equals uh, negative t, the normal line. Okay, that's for the tangent plane and the normal line of our, of our surface on a plane on a, uh, at some point.